What's going on YouTube? Evan here with Cloud9 Aquariums. My plants finally came today, so it's time to do a little unboxing video. Now, before I get started, I am going to say a couple things. One, when I watch unboxing videos, I get a little bit annoyed by the fact that half the video is comprised of the person trying to figure out what plants they actually ordered and, you know, them opening the actual box and, oh, I forgot a knife and I can't do this and I can't do that. So, believe it or not, this is still an unboxing video of plants, but they're already unboxed. So I'm going to show you how they came, and then we're going to talk about it. I labeled mine so I can figure out what they are. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to butcher the names of half of these because that's just how it's going to be, because I, I had never had these plants before, and I'm excited to start something new. So let's check out what we got. So the huge update, I got nine different varieties. I apologize my voice just got super loud because I turned the camera around. You'll get over it. So believe it or not, they came in a box, okay? nice little box. Um, when you open it up you'll see that they're packed. Um, this is kind of the way that most people are doing it nowadays and it works really well. Um, what they did what they did, they take all the plants, they roll them up in some newspaper, they put them in a, a nice bag, um, you seal the bag off. Um, a lot of people pump CO2 into it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what the uh, method was for this but either way you know they put some water in there so your plants don't dry out and uh, they don't leak all over the place and then they wrap that whole thing, um, the bag and everything, they wrap it in some nice little uh, uh, fiberglass insulation, just a normal pink insulation you could use in your house, right? Because it helps to keep your plants from going through crazy temperature changes, which is awesome because that keeps your plants alive when you get them. Um, and then a lot of times they'll put some more card, um, cardboard or just paper, newspaper or whatever around them. So that's awesome. I'm, I love to see that they did this. This is just one more reason. Um, you know, they, they include a little packing list. Um, and actually, when they put the fiberglass in, some people actually have allergies to it, so they even put a little little note um, inside the bag. I just to let you know that there's going to be fiberglass there um, in case you're allergic to it. So that's cool. This is what I got. So we're gonna start over here. I got some uh, hygro and gustafolia, which is gonna be awesome. And I'm gonna let you know right now. Out of all these, I only bought one bunch of every single thing. So uh, you can see she gave me some extras right here. So that's awesome. I mean, look at how great these look. Um, a lot of them are already sprouting roots. Um, all doing great. Two huge bunches. Perfect. Um, this is some Golden Moidella. Um, this is also known as like Golden Creeping Jenny or something like that. So um, this stuff's doing great. Again, look at the roots. It, it looks fantastic. I can't wait to get that in. Um, this is some Hydro... I'm going to really screw this one up, but it looks like Hydro Hotini Flora. I got no idea, guys. Don't don't judge me. I, I'm, I'm sure you do what I do when somebody pronounces the name of a plant wrong that you completely know. And you kind of sit there and laugh and say, oh, yeah, moron. This is how it's said. So whatever. You can all laugh at me. It's fine. I'll get over it. Um, this is going to look good once it's planted right now, obviously, because it's a fine leaf plant. It kind of just looks uh, like it's going to go through some melt, but that'll be fine. I'll get We'll get through it. Um, here's some Rastafolia Raniki. Again, two huge bunches. This stuff's got, I mean, it just looks great. The color on it's good. Um, definitely had it some under some highlight recently. Um, huge Amazon sword, just a standard Amazon sword, Echinodorus. You know you know how it goes. It's got a nice little runner already going off of it, which I love to see. Great roots um, to the point where I might even have to trim a little bit before I plant it, which is great. That's awesome. That's exactly what I want to see. Um, here we got some Hygro, uh, which is also known as a temple plant. Um, again, looking great. Uh, this is definitely going to plant well. I mean, look at the roots already on this. Um, and what, the way, I, the reason I stress roots on these um, more so, especially, I mean, Amazon store is kind of obvious. You know, if that doesn't come with roots, I'm going to be a little bit worried. Um, but some of these, when you can see, there's, these are just clippings. These are stem plants. You know, um, if those already have roots, that's great. A lot of stem plants you're going to have to plant without roots, and uh, it's just not going to work out well. I'm sorry, my camera's really just having a hard time. Uh, focusing today. I don't know why. It's just being obnoxious. So either way, I apologize. Um, got some Ludwigia Rippins, um, broadleaf variety. Again, she gave me two, which is just fantastic. That's awesome. Um, great coloration already. It's already got some root sprouting on the stem, which also means it's a very hardy plant. A lot of it, when you see this, um, these roots kind of going up, you see on my, next to my finger right there. You got some on this one right there. There's tons of roots. Um, that really takes tends to mean it's a hardy plant, it's going to root really well. Um, here's Rotella willichi. Um, again, you can't really even get 
I mean, look at this. This is not what it's going to look like when it's in the tank. Believe me, it's going to fluff out. It's going to look completely different. This is just what they look like after being in a box for three days. Um, I will say it was three days to get here. It came from Arizona, and they look this great. So that's, I mean, that's another thing, testament to uh, this great packing and, you know, uh, quality plants to begin with. Um, I'm sure he's going to plant well. But, again, two bunches of that. Here's some Mayaka fluviat, uh, fluviatilis, I guess is how you say it. Again, I, I can't pronounce anything, people. I'm sure you'll get over it. Um, but, I mean, just look at this stuff. This stuff looks great. Um, I can't wait to get this in. There's tons in this bunch. It's a huge bunch. And, again, she gave me two, um, which is awesome. So, well, you guys have been asking me, where am I getting my plants from? Well, folks, I'm getting them from Planted Aquariums Central. This is where I'm getting my stuff right now. Um, as some of you may already know, I actually got my baby tears from them. I've gotten... Um, my Madagascar Lace, which has just been fantastic. I've gotten them for them. Um, I mean, clearly, look at, look, at that, look at that. Look at how good my Baby Tears is doing, okay? Don't tell me they're selling me junk. Um, so I really, you know, I would really recommend this company. And, um, you know, I even got a little story about this, too, because I was really happy this week because um, I actually ordered them last week. And she emailed me when she was going to pull the order. Um, and basically what happened was two of the varieties I had picked... Uh, they weren't in, you know, 100% quality when she went to go pull the order. Now, most companies nowadays, especially um, if you're at your local, you know, fish store, this is why I order online because my local stores I go in, I wouldn't buy any of the plants because none of them, they're not even 50%. You know, they're, they're terrible quality. And they're still charging full price for them, you know, and they're just junk. You'll be lucky if you can get them home and if you can get them to root before they rot out. Um, but she emailed me and said that, um, you know, the plants were 100%. She wasn't happy with it, so I had two options. You know, I could either wait. Uh, if I didn't mind waiting the weekend, and they were going to get, get in, yeah, they were going to get a new shipment, and you know we could take care of it then, we could send it out in that first thing Monday, or you know she, I could pick two other species, and you know she would make up the difference. Um, the cool thing is that um, you know if if I was willing to wait the weekend, she was going to include extras in the order, which is awesome. You know what? Because first off, integrity doesn't happen in companies nowadays, so. When somebody's like that to me, I'm automatically no matter how much you're going to charge me for your stuff, which I'll give you this is these plants were great price. They were already better than every other competition. Um but even if they were more, I would still pay it just because that's awesome that they're you know, I know I'm gonna get quality plants every single time. Um they were packed well, they I received them well, um, no problems with them whatsoever. Customer service fantastic. So again, uh Planet Aquarium Central, if you guys are looking to get some plants, uh if your local pet store is kinda de or lacking in the plant department, which a lot of them are nowadays, unfortunately. Um, definitely recommend them. Have I've had great experiences so far. Um, so next up, I'm gonna be uh, I'm gonna go make a video after this. Um, obviously, this was just an unboxing video. I'm not gonna make this a 20 minute long video. So next, I'll show you guys. Uh, stay tuned, and we'll get into how to prep these to put them in your tank, how to reaquascape some tanks. So stay tuned. Like I said, this week is gonna be a video every single day. So it's gonna get crazy, guys. So, um, but again, I love this company. I'm really happy with uh, what they've done for me already. They really hooked me up this time. Really appreciate it, guys. Um, really helping the hobby stay alive. So everybody take it easy. Have a good week. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video.